Hi, good morning. I am Dr. Eman Ariola. I'm a postgraduate intern in Chinese General Hospital in Manila, Philippines. I am 26 years old. So, good morning, guys. Today, we're going to Chinese General Hospital for my duty. Today, I rotate ako sa charity department. So, most likely, mas marami tayong patients, mas marami kailangan gawin. Pero let's get it. Tara na. In a week, my duty days are five times a week. Pero we don't get weekends like non-med people. So, yung duty days namin, pwedeng yung off mo Monday, tapos yung sunod mo off Friday. So, hiwa-hiwalay talaga sila. So yung duty namin, it lasts for 12 hours per duty time. Pero minsan, nag extend pa yun. So if maraming patients, if maraming kailangan gawin, or maraming backlog, you don't really pass the backlog sa susunod na shift. Kailangan tapusin mo lahat sa shift mo. Kaya nag extend talaga kami minsan. The first thing I do when I, try, when I have a work day is uh, first I log in. So we have the fingerprint scanner in the lobby. Second, we have a logbook in the obstetrics office. Uh, the next we do um, endorsements. So what endorsements are, um, people from the shift before you, they endorse the different patients that are assigned or still uh, enrolled in the hospital until your duty. So that's what we, what we call endorsements. After that, um, we do chart rounds. So what, what are chart, chart rounds are the orders from the attending physicians of each patient. Uh, we check them for any new orders, then we relay them to our um, residents on duty. And then we also do perform the different tasks as well. Pinaka toxic on a shift was I was rotating in pediatrics sa, sa emergency room that time. Tapos in 12 hours, I had um, 14 patients, tapos tatlo pa dun were seizure patients. So, yun ang pinaka toxic ko. Kasi mag-isa lang ako, mag-dalawa lang kami ng residente ko, tapos whole day yun, like wala kaming tulog, wala kaming kain. Nakain na kami 9 p.m. So, we started at uh, 7 a.m. Tapos to 7 p.m. yan. Pero nag-extend pa ako ng 2 hours. So, for 14 hours, wala kaming kain dahil sobrang toxic ng emergency room na yun. The most stressful part is, is that how you're actually a doctor now. So you're not technically licensed yet, yet but you're all, already an MD because you graduated med school. The stress comes from the fact that you have a lot of patients uh, a lot, all the time because since I mentioned this is a very good hospital in the, in the Philippines, we have a lot of patients. So sometimes you don't get to eat right, you don't get to sleep right, you don't get the eight hours of sleep that is um, suggested for an adult. So you rarely get that, especially if you have night duty, you don't really get to sleep at all. Getting to treat the patients, so because we were really deprived of patient interaction during the pandemic, so being able to talk to patients, get to know their history, their physical examination up close and personal instead of being on the Zoom, is very fulfilling because it brought back the memories of being an, an actual doctor. People in the different batches previous to me, they only handled patients via Zoom, which was very tough because we really want to learn our patients individually, uh, physically. So it was really a good, it's really a good experience for us currently to be um, doing our internship in Chinese General Hospital. Uh, I, I manage stress through my workouts. So whenever I feel a, a bit burnt out, I just go to my gym and just try to through, sweat it out. I want to, working out helps me clear my mind, to be honest with you. And I still pursue my non-academic hobbies because they're, they're part of me now. So I started them during the pandemic because during the pandemic, everybody was being wary of each other. So I started doing home workouts then it, and it went on from there. I did different hobbies during the pandemic as well. I tried wakeboarding, I did golfing. Um, so it was the, the, both the pandemic and the situation, everything else, and being a med student, um, that helped me become more active, more fit. Because as a doctor, we always preach about a healthy lifestyle. Why not practice it? We always preach to our patients about being healthy, eating right, being active. I want to become a doctor that can be an example to both my patients and my colleagues, that we can all do, um, we have a life outside of med school, but we can also practice um, the medicine itself, and we can also be, we can also preach the things we preach to our patients for ourselves. Uh, the main reason I wanted to become a doctor is mainly because I really want to help people, but more specifically, I want to be the person to help my parents when they get older. So I think that's the most honorable thing a good son can do for, their, for his family. So that's the main reason. I love my family, I love my parents. I want to be the one to take care of them when they're older. That's the main reason I wanted to become a doctor. Five tips I want to do. So first is pursue your goal. 
So if this, if this isn't for you, if your parents pushed you into this, I suggest don't continue because medicine and helping people has to come from the heart. Second, continue striving. Everything is an obstacle. No path is easy. I suggest if you really want to do this, continue doing it. Third is study. So it's very cliche, but it's really needed. Uh, knowledge in all of the subjects, if the, of the different subjects in medical school, can really help you treat your patients better. Knowing the disease, knowing the treatment right, will help them um, become better faster and they'll be able to remember you more because you help them be better faster. The next tip I want to give is have a life outside of med school. So it can't be all books, you have to have the balance of everything. You don't need to really miss out on having time with your family, having time with your friends for an exam. You just need to um, study earlier. And my last tip is don't procrastinate. So you really can't um, rush medicine. You, can really, you really can't rush school. You have to be patient. You have to do with the time. You have to do the, the work needed to become a doctor.